is my final in my program and I just saved it to my computer and to the thumb drive and now I'm ready to take it to my sewing machine. All right, I stopped it for just a second and trimmed off that tail. This is what it looks like. Let me just back up so you can see. And um, it actually says this program will take 15 minutes. It's a little noisy, which is fine. Um, and for me, I just go work on something else. Well, I can do handwork, or I can um, work on some other files on my computer. So I'm going to do that and let the machine go. Good morning. Does anyone else start their day with a hot drink and a cold drink like I do? I know my sister does. I'll have to tag her in this. This is my hot, yummy caramel macchiato made at home coffee, sugar free. And this is my Ningxia. See my cute cup I got at the Young Living Beauty School? And it's full of my delicious Ningxia drink. But that's not why we're on. I want to show you some new fun sewing things that I got yesterday. My hubby went to the Bernina store because they're doing Merry Swissmas right now. And that's 25% off all of their accessories. So he came home with, and he had me make a list. He didn't go in blind because my poor husband... Uh, who knows what he would have gotten. Lots of good stuff, but maybe not stuff I use all the time. This is a rolled hem foot. Now I got a new machine uh, less than two years ago, and before that I had had my Bernina over 20 years, and I had collected almost every single foot made for them. I've d given that to my daughter, so she has, I would say, 35 or more, um, well, probably more like 40 accessory feet and a really nice <laughs> Bernina 1630. I have the new 770QEE -E, and I need feet. So I got this great rolled hem foot. It's the, there's a, quite a few different ones. They make different sizes and some are straight stitch, some are zigzag. I wanted the zigzag. It's just more versatile and this is a little bit wider. Um, I got the foot for sewing on buttons which I didn't have and you can still sew on a button without it but boy it makes it a lot easier. That little um, the little nose in the middle goes up and down to give you a higher or lower thread shank. I got, um, this is the cording foot, so you can feed decorative cord through there and stitch over it. And I got one of the pin tucking feet, there's a couple different sizes. You use this with a double needle and makes pin tucks. And I want to do, um, there's quite a few things I want to do, but I love a pin tuck down the front of a blouse or something like that. And this is a, a foot that I used quite a bit. It's also nice for baby clothes. This is a little bit larger one and it really shows up nicely because I'm not doing heirloom sewing anymore. My kids are all big. And I got some more bobbins because bobbins, we need bobbins. I had 10, now I have 20. He got me two more packages. Such a good husband. And I ordered, this didn't come from Bernina, from their Swissmas sale, but I ordered this from Amazon, and it is a stretchy netting. It's a hundred feet long tube, and I can cut it off to go over my cones, because when I store them, the threads, you know how the threads make a rat's nest, so I can store them now with this over it, and actually if you feed the thread through the top, you can leave this on the cone when you're sewing. It does create a little bit of a tension, but it works great if you're using like a woolly nylon or some of the more plasticky threads, like an invisible thread, great for that too. Here is my large tub of cone threads. It's not everything, but it's most of what I have. And here's the netting that I mentioned earlier. I pulled it out and started working with it. And all I've been doing is cutting it off about the length of a cone and slipping it over. And you can see how it holds it. And then can you see this you can see see that little thread sticking out so that's my starter thread so if I wanted to I could actually leave this on and let it wind out the top um, it does add more tension so you need to pay attention to your serger tension or your sewing machine tension if you're doing that but this is what it looks like it's super stretchy it can be used for lots of things but it this is the mess that happens if you don't have something so I've started working on my cones Do you have a zipper mess like I do? I'm getting ready to organize this. Because I taught for so many years 
and my kids would show up with projects but no zipper and then they couldn't finish or couldn't sew for the whole time they were there I would buy zippers in bulk in just a few sizes and I would usually buy it's very inexpensive to buy from like zipper stop something like that um, Amazon even has a couple good deals you can get 14 inch and I would get mostly invisible zippers because that's mostly what my kids used unless we were doing the bags and then we needed regular but I would get a couple um, sizes in multicolors and then the kids could just take one of my zippers they would end up costing me maybe a dollar 80 cents a piece so it was for me it was worth it to keep the kids sewing and be out that little bit and sometimes they'd actually bring me a dollar from their mom <laughs> the next time they came to class but I'm not teaching those classes anymore I still use all my zippers but look at this these are some look at how old some of these zippers are that I have and they need organized got a few cute look at how that isn't that cute so I'm going to take these clips and I'm going to clip together size and style so like these long invisible zippers they don't have to be the same color as long as they're the same they're all invisible zippers and they're all the same length they're going to get clipped together and the nice thing about these little clippy doos you get one that's not stuck together is you can hang them um, from this so once I clip it let me flip this around so once they're clipped together like that, I can actually hang them on a little hook if I want to. So I and if I'm just gonna pan up my pardon the mess in the corner. My walls are pretty empty in here right now. I'm working on artwork, but that's pretty sad. And I love color and art and stuff. So I may I think I'm actually going to hang them inside this closet so when you open the door there's going to be some of those little clear command hooks hanging in there and my zippers will be hanging on that and then I can um, free up some space and this jumbled up mess so zipper organization here's my first little batch I have a whole bunch of gray zippers exactly the same and they're clipped together now and when you're looking at zippers if you're new to sewing and you're like how do I know if this is an invisible zipper or a regular sew-in zipper there's a couple ways and I'm just going to show you just by looking at the head invisible zippers have these long slim little zipper poles and regular zippers have um, a larger pull like this so that's one way you can tell the other way is when you go to look at the teeth on the right side of the zipper Invisible zippers, you can't see the teeth at all, and on a regular zipper, you can. Look at, look at those teeth standing up there, showing up. Now, on an invisible zipper, the teeth are all hidden from behind. So if you see the back of the zipper head and teeth, that's going to be an invisible. On the back of this one, you really don't see the teeth. See how they're made? They're different, and it's really cool. So there's your zippers. Here's my first thing. I think I'm going to have a whole lot of these hanging up. I also just want to show you that I did add a tiny bit of wall decoration. <laughs> I have a long way to go. These are just cork boards that are stuck on to this panel. This is my sewing room is in the basement and that panel is actually um, the water main water shut off for the house. So. Um, it's important and it has to stay there so I just put a few cork boards on there and I actually think I'm going to I got this idea from my sister I'm going to put command hook with a um, clipboards in the two other spaces that are sort of long and skinny uh, my sister has a whole clipboard wall I'll have to um, give you some information on her I'll have to find her Instagram stuff and put it in the description she is a fiber artist and quilt artist and she's full of great ideas so I saw her thing and I thought I want to do that that is such a good idea so anyway that's right above my sewing machine and I can clip patterns um, fabrics all kinds of things to that and I'm going to make really cute push pins so that's in my to-do list too thought I would check in with you today and just do a fun little quick Christmas project these are really old I made one of these each year that I had a child so this stockings 22 years old and I actually had enough forethought that when I bought the fabric for this I bought enough to have multiple children so they're all match and each one's different and it's a little hard because it's in the shade but 
it's hand stitched and it says her name and then uh, it's searched together and lined and then I did a hand stitched um, blanket stitch around the edge it's machine applique so there's Lauren's and then my next child was Sarah so this one is 20 years old this old little stocking and she has another angel facing a different direction and then this is Luke's this is a 16 year old stocking because that's how old my son is and on the back I actually have the date that I made it which is their birth year and he got a cute little shepherd and they're all made the same way I made lots of stockings these we don't I don't use them I don't fill them anymore we fortunately have two fireplaces that are very similar so this is in the family room I'm gonna just rotate around so in the family room I put those up pardon all the messes I'm gonna walk across to the more formal living which is where we keep our little tiny Christmas tree and these are the stockings that I made recently um, that we actually fill now I as you saw I have old kids <laughs> like my oldest is 22 my youngest is 16 but as long as I can I'm gonna do stockings. so these are really fast stockings that I literally threw together um, one afternoon and made all of them and I these are just a few years old I these are actually two years old I got my new embroidery my new machine with embroidery and these were the first projects I made just to try out the embroidery so I have these stockings now um, that are I fill and we'll see how long um, I do that since I have such giant grown big kids so anyway fun little Christmas craft I thought I would share with you today happy snowy Sunday just thought I would check in with all of you and share our beautiful little snowstorm that we're having today I hope you can see all the snowflakes on the camera So here's a happy winter day to you from us in Kansas.